Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. This vlog is gonna be about my second trimester. So I did a previous one on my first trimester. If you haven't watched it, please do. Also go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel. Just gonna say that to get it out of the way. It's gonna make me and the baby really happy. Alright, let's get into it. My whole execution towards the second trimester was to start working out again, to just kind of slowly get back into it, work out every other day, walk every other day, easing back into yoga. I was still surfing during this period up until about six months almost six months. I don't think I reached six months. My body definitely changed. My bump definitely got bigger. Towards the end of my second trimester, the bloating started to go started to go away. I gained about 15 pounds throughout the whole second trimester. So unlike the first where I gained 15 pounds in one month, this one naman, I gained ako sa whole three months, mga 15 pounds. Still white, just like now, still white. I would try to tan, not much would really happen and the whole thing with my hair and me not wanting to wash my own hair, that started to go away around the end of the fourth month. So I was able to start taking a shower like a normal person. I feel like my face started to normalize through the second trimester, like it got really, it looked different the fourth and fifth month, and then six months, I started to look more like myself. I bought a, what did I buy? In the first trimester, I bought a treadmill or piano. Then the second trimester, I bought a piano. Basta see, okay, saw so pregnancy brain. In the second trimester, the huge thing I splurged on was a treadmill. I had been wanting it, and I had been telling Nino we need to get a treadmill because it's a bit hot outside. And I didn't want to wake up early to go walking. So we bought a treadmill, thank goodness. So now we finally have one here in Bayud. That's when I started to walk more. And I noticed that my legs weren't as bloated the more I walked. I had no excuses because treadmills aren't cheap. So I'd really use it and I'd watch my K-drama while I was on the treadmill. And speaking of K-drama, that's like one huge thing that happened during my second trimester. I started watching K-drama. It started with Tale of the Nine-Tailed. I got obsessed with Lee Dong-Wook. I'm not even going to be shocked if my baby comes out looking like him because they say the best of second trimester, the fourth and fifth and sixth month is when you make lihe. And like when you really look at a guy or a girl or whomever and you think like, oh, I really like their lips like that. Then the baby starts to have like nice lips, etc. I really like his lips. So there's him. And then I've watched so many since then. I would work or work out. And then when I do want to rest, I'm going to binge watch a show. And yeah, so my obsession with K-drama started during my second trimester. Very important event to highlight. And then I stopped craving carbs. I stopped craving the pastas and the potatoes like chips and fries. So I started to cut that out. I still wasn't so strict with my diet. So in the first trimester, I ate whatever I wanted. This time, it was more of like, okay, let's start eating healthier stuff. So I would request for more salads. I started eating salmon, broccoli, and black or red rice, whichever would be available here. And I still didn't cut out everything, but I started to hold back on like sweets, for example, or extra salty foods because yun talaga yung plan ko was second trimester to start to balance things out not overdo it but just balance things out one thing is i could start eating and drinking the foods i liked before that i had stopped liking in my first trimester so i started drinking a buko again and i incorporated juices so i would look up certain juice recipes online nino bought a juicer and i have like a carrot juice that i would drink every day for the baby's eyes 
sorry there's something happening out there yeah i started to feel more energetic especially towards my six month when i wasn't always so tired or needed to take naps <laughs> i love my naps though the whole auras like i i know i told you guys about me seeing the auras of people it oh there's an app on the so the whole thing with auras, I still saw the colors around people but it started to get less and less towards the end of the second trimester to where it was only on kids where I could see the colors. Overall, I'd say that throughout my pregnancy from the beginning, like I was a completely different human being and then as time went on, I started to morph more back into my to my normal self. Also, there were so many things that went through my head mentally, like me questioning what's gonna happen to my career, what's gonna happen to me, is my whole world gonna change? And you know, of course, the answer is yes. But I just tried to not think about those things. And my second trimester, no signs of stretch marks yet. My stomach wasn't so itchy yet. My boobs definitely got bigger. <laughs> they were kind of itchy but not as much as they became later on in my third trimester. I actually forgot a lot that happened during this time because now in my third trimester it just seems so long, long ago. It feels like a whole another lifetime ago. I swam a lot though in my second trimester. We'd go on the boat, Nino would surf and I'd go kind of like free diving while he's surfing. That was so much fun. I really liked the water during my second trimester compared to the my first trimester. And everything was everything was good. Definitely you could see that I was pregnant. The bump was more evident and I looked less like I had gained a lot of weight. And more like a pregnant <laughs> We're like a pregnant woman. This is when I figured out my jive and my routine more and kind of like really thought, okay, this is this is the energy I do have and how limited it is. Because it is still limited, even if I'd say it's my most energetic trimester. What else did I do and what else did I feel? I didn't have any like hormonal imbalances in the sense that I didn't get angry much. I didn't have any weird outbursts of anger except one time with Nino and that was in Davao during my second trimester checkup because he kept asking me what I'd want to eat and I kept, kept telling him what I wanted to eat but we would never get that. We would get something else completely different and one day he ordered from a fast food chicken place. I'm not gonna say where. He asked me if I wanted spicy or regular chicken and I was like half asleep taking a nap and in my head I was like I don't want fried chicken. I want something else but I didn't say that to him. So I just gave him an answer and said <laughs> original. Then when I woke up na it was kind of late and sobrang nakakainis lang kasi yun the food was what he ordered not what I wanted in my head but yeah so there's more to that story it's just kind of long it ended in me leaving and going to my lola's house <laughs> I think it was really dramatic in how I reacted but I'd say that's one of the few times that I lost like control of my anger I did notice though I became a lot more patient since I've been pregnant I don't know when in my pregnancy this happened but definitely I had become more patient I don't have back pains up until now nothing is painful in my second trimester and even till now I still do headstands when I practice yoga with, an ass with someone assisting me and what else happened oh I noticed that my fingernails would grow a lot faster and my toenails and the hair on my legs they started to grow a lot faster i also noticed that i had so much peclat on my legs i look like i had the legs of Nino's 13 year old nephew it was just like peclat everywhere don't know why don't know how i got them Nino would ask me if i was scratching I really had no recollection of like 
making kamot or anything but you could they're gone now but you could see like on my thighs it was super weird i looked like i had boy legs and by boy legs i mean like you i don't take care of it and that went away in my third trimester thank goodness i'm getting so distracted by the ocean but um, i'm trying to remember other things that happened i was definitely my laziest in my first trimester most energetic in my second and now in the third I just lang talaga. like if i really have something to do i'm just like i gotta do it i gotta get it done because i'm running out of time um i also started towards the end of my second trimester nesting that's when i started looking at baby stuff and i'd stay up till two in the morning on baby websites putting things in the cart add the cart add the cart add the cart and trying like completely forgetting that i had to budget stuff and i just order things it was really funny because when stuff started arriving you just like why is there so much stuff here like because we're gonna have a human come into the world and he needs his own things second trimester i found out the gender <laughs> So, yes, that was also another great highlight of my second trimester. Yeah, nothing like odd, nothing out of the ordinary happened. In fact, more ordinary things started to happen compared to the first trimester. And I guess with that, I think that's all that the things I can think of. Let me check my phone. Oh, here. I noticed also towards the end of the second trimester, I couldn't, I can't cross my legs. Not like a woman, like this. Unless I lean back, it's not gonna happen. So I generally sit, Indian sit, even at the dining table. I know it's not proper manners, but this is like the most comfortable position for me. And yeah, so that's all I wrote on my phone. I cannot think of anything else. So, I had a really good second trimester. I do wish I took more advantage of the energy. So, for those who are about to be mothers, if you're in your second trimester and you're like me and you just have all your energy back, do all the things that you want to do now in your second trimester. Don't be like me and think, oh, I have six more months. Oh, I have three more months. Because in your third trimester, that energy isn't always there. It's not as consistent. And you're going to end up being like me, which you don't want. And just cramming everything into the last two months. And it's a lot of stuff. So you should do your maternity shoot during your second trimester. Because this is when your bump isn't so huge yet. I wanted to do an underwater shoot but when i did try to do it i was too big i would just float so yeah you want to do it within this time frame also plan everything like as soon as you feel that energy back in your second trimester write down everything that you need to do and just do it now don't wait and don't be like me don't watch k-drama the whole day and the whole night and daydream about Lee Dong Woo, that's the most advice I have. I will have a third trimester vlog, but I do want to share that if you are newly a mother, I highly recommend, of course, with the approval of your, your OB and your doctors, to try the approach I tried, which is to just give in to all of the feelings I felt in my first trimester. So the laziness, the lethargy, the cravings. I stopped working out, coming from like a background of always working out. I stopped dieting, I ate whatever I wanted. To balancing it out in your second trimester. And by balance, I mean eating some of the cravings, but also adding in a more balanced diet. And staying away, starting to stay away from the processed foods. And adding some workouts in. Then in the third trimester, just completely having a well balanced, healthy, nutritional diet, and also having a consistent workout plan that's appropriate for being pregnant. 
because it worked in my favor so much. Like everybody around me is just like, your first trimester, you were so bloated. Second trimester, they're like, oh, you're bloated and pregnant. And third trimester, they're like, you're pregnant, but like, pumayat ako, like in terms of my limbs and stuff. I'll get more into that into my last trimester vlog. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, please comment below. I will try to answer them. I hope you learned something. I just wanted to share my experience. I know I probably missed a lot of stuff, but pregnancy brain, this is what I'm saying. Shoot it already. If you're gonna like record yourself and you want to look back and see how you were doing through each phase of the pregnancy, do it on the spot, don't wait, because writing it down, you're not gonna have the same passion or the same memories because you will kind of forget some stuff that happened. That's me right now. And that's why a lot of this vlog, I'm just like trying to remember what happened. So again, even if you're lazy, just do it. When you're in your second trimester, first trimester, just rest all you want. Yeah. So thanks guys for watching. Bye.